Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Caspa using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the Caspa coin that you are mining here in 2025, allowing you to build your holdings even faster. So, before we dive into the video, I do always like to start off here on Coin Market Cap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see, crypto is down. Total market cap is $3.23 trillion, down about 3.21%. Um, looking across the top 10, top 15, top 20 coins, everything is red on the week chart here. Um, you got a few that are popping into the green on the day. Um, and then, of course, the one green one here is a stable coin, USDT. But overall, I think this is just a minor setback for crypto. I think we still have the best earning potentials to come in the next few months as part of the 2024-2025 bull cycle due to Bitcoin's halving last May. So before we dive into the video and tutorial here, I do want to scroll down just a little bit till we find Caspa. Now, seeing as we're talking about mining this coin, I want to take a quick look at it. Placed currently at 44th place, this coin is down 20% in the last seven days. So what does that mean for mining? Well, right now, collecting, building your holdings of this coin could be one of the best decisions you make. Caspa has been one of the hottest talked about coins over the last 12 months. Um, it was a relatively new coin that became very popular for GPU and CPU mining um, and then very quickly became an ASIC mining coin. So with that being said, um, if we look at the all time highs here, you can see that just a few months ago in mid 2024, this coin was 20 cents a coin. So that basically means that if you think that Caspa can get back to where it was and that's it, you still have the potential to double any amount of coin uh, investment or mining that you do now. So like I said, Caspa is a ASIC mining coin at this point. So how are we going to mine this on Windows? Well, we're going to be using a site called Unminable. Now, if you're not familiar with Unminable, basically it does what its name says. It allows you to mine coins that are not traditionally mineable, or in this case, coins that are traditionally mineable, but not really with GPUs or CPUs anymore. The way they do that is they have you pick an algorithm here that is profitable for your hardware. They've got a ton of selections, and if you're not sure what to go with, check out the site whattomine.com. It allows you to enter in the GPU that you're using to mine, and it'll tell you the best and most profitable algorithm. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Kapow algorithm. That's not necessarily the best one for everybody, but it's the one that I'm going to be using, and the steps are more or less the same if you use any of these other ones. So what you're gonna first do, the link to Unminable is down in the description below. If you use that link, you will get a 25% discount on your pool mining fee, which we'll talk about in just a minute, or you can feel free to navigate to unminable.com to follow along. What you're gonna do is click get started with our wizard, Two different options here, basic and advanced. I always recommend going with basic. It's good enough for 99% of people mining. Um, if you do want a little bit more customized approach to setting this up, you can go the advanced route. I'm gonna be going the GPU route here, but again, if you are looking to mine with a Windows-based CPU or you're following along on a Mac OS-based computer, choose that CPU option. Here's where you'll select that mining algorithm. Again, I'm gonna be going with Kapow, but please choose what's best for your hardware. And here's where you choose what coin you wanna get paid out in um, from the mining that you're doing, which of course is going to be Caspa. Now, if you did wanna mine any of these other coins, they've got a ton to choose from. The steps are more or less the same, but when you get to this screen, I do wanna make sure that you enter in the address that is associated with the coin you are trying to mine. 
Now, as you can see here, if you enter in your CASPA address, there is no warning if this is a good address, if it's a bad address, if it's your address. Um, so if you do delete one of the numbers, you can see I deleted that three. Now it says there seems to be a warning. If I throw in a two, we all know this is no longer my address. So when I go to get paid, I won't, but that warning is gone. So please don't necessarily just trust the warning here on the site. Double, triple check your address because everything will work as expected if your address is wrong until you go to get paid. And, and to my knowledge, if you've entered in the wrong address, there is no way to get that payment. So with that being said, once you've double confirmed that, go ahead and say next and the final screen before getting into the mining and downloading the files for mining. The referral code. Now, if you use the link down below, you'll notice that my Bitcoin tips referral code auto populated like it did here on screen. Now, if you use just navigation to the site on mineable.com and you still want that 25% discount, feel free to enter in the code. It is Bitcoin dash tips, capital B, capital T. Here on Unminable, there's a 1% pool mining fee, meaning if you mine 100 Caspa coin, you're going to give one of those coins to Unminable. It doesn't matter if you do that in a day or in a year. It doesn't matter if Caspa is $0.09 cents or $90. So with that being said, using this reduces that fee down to 0.75%, meaning you get to keep an additional 25% of the coins you would have otherwise had to pay to Unminable. So I always recommend using that, but of course you are more than welcome to continue without it. Now, downloading the files and getting started. I always recommend Gminer here. It supports both major GPU manufacturers and it's the one that I personally use on several mining rigs. I've had a lot of really good luck with it um, and that's why I like to recommend it, but all of these files and miners do work really well. So feel free to choose what you're most interested in, but Gminer gets the job done and it's really reliable. What you're going to do is select download minor files. This will take you to the GitHub where you download this Windows 64 zip file. Download this and extract it. Please make sure you don't miss the extraction step. If you do, the files will give you an error immediately when you go to start mining. So if you're seeing that happen, make sure you didn't miss the extraction step. Once you've got that downloaded and extracted, come back over here to Unminable and select this blue download.bat file button. This is going to download the bat file to your computer. Now you'll notice that Google Chrome has called this out and said, hey, this file can't be verified. Are you sure you want to continue downloading it? You will have to say download unverified file if you want to continue with this. If this is something you're not comfortable doing, simply select delete from history. Um, and I'd recommend checking out some of my other videos on crypto faucets, uh, cloud mining, because unfortunately there is no way around this if you're looking to mine. If you're okay with that, go ahead and select download unverified file. And then all you have to do is take this file and drag and drop it into the folder with all of the files that you just extracted. So you can see here I have my unminable KAS Kapow gminer.bat. At this point, you are ready to get started mining, and all you have to do is double click this .bat file to get started. Now, you will notice that you get a Windows protected your PC pop up. Good news is this only shows up the first time you go to start the miner, but if you do want to continue, you will have to say more info and run anyway. Again, if this is something you're not comfortable with, simply select don't run, delete the files, and again, unfortunately, you'll have to move on to something else in crypto. But I can say I've personally ran all of these files for many years, and I've never had any issue. So with that being said, as you can see here, I am now up and running mining Casper using an RTX 3070 through the Kapow algorithm getting paid in Caspa today in 2025. We are just under nine minutes into the video and that included a little bit of coin market cap analysis and just talking through the tutorial in general. So you can see that really, if you have your Caspa address ready to go, you can be up and running in less than five minutes. So a few final notes about mining with Unminable. Once you've got the miner started here, you can see there isn't really any red text. There's some blue, green, yellow, all of that's looking pretty good. Now, if you're getting red errors, there might be something wrong. Um, if you're not sure what's going on, feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. Just make sure to let me know what the errors are saying and I will do my best to help troubleshoot. 
Um, also, when you've been mining for a little bit, after about 15 to 30 minutes, you will see your stats and pending payment show up under the addresses tab here on Unminable. So if you aren't seeing that after about an hour, something may be configured incorrectly. Uh, the first thing I'd say to check is that address. Make sure it's pasted in correctly, both here on the website and when you set up the file. If that's incorrect, redo the files and it should start working. Now, when you're ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find this window and hit the red X. Once that is closed out, you can know that you are no longer mining. Now, the reason I'm telling you how to close out a window is because with Unminable, if you've been mining for a decent period of time, a few hours, anywhere up to pretty consistently for several days, and you stop the miner, you will actually continue seeing stats and even payments into your pending on-site balance for up to 12 or 24 hours after stopping the miner. It's a little strange, but I have seen the question of, hey, you know, I stopped the miner, but I'm still getting paid. Is it mining in the background? As long as that CMD window is closed out, you can rest assured that you are no longer mining, you can use your computer for whatever else you'd like, or just shut it down. I can personally say that I did stop a miner at one point, turn off the computer and unplug it from the wall, and the next morning, I was still getting paid. There was no way for that computer to be running, so it is just one of those weird things with Unminable. So, with that being said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you do run into any issues throughout this entire process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what's going on, and I'm always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. So, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to Bitcoin Tips. It really does help us out and allow us to provide these videos here on YouTube for free. And... It helps get the word out about sites like Unminable and get more people into crypto, helping the prices move up. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.